Today is the king's birthday. So we think of him and all the good that he's done for Thailand. Makes you realize what one person in the right place can do for a country. And how having a good person at the top can really pull the country together. You're going to take that as a metaphor for your own mind. You want to make sure that wisdom is in charge. That when your defilements start getting obstreperous, okay, there's something they can appeal to, something you can appeal to to settle things. In psychology, they talk about the superego, the part of the mind that says, tells you what you should and shouldn't do. And fortunately, in Buddhism, the shoulds are all in your favor. You should try to comprehend your suffering. You should try to abandon its cause. You should try to realize the end of suffering, and you should try to develop the path to the end. Nobody's forcing you to this. Nobody's forcing you to accept the shoulds, but there's shoulds in your favor. So when something comes up in the mind, you ask yourself, is this really for the end of suffering, or is this going to create more suffering? And take it to the court of appeal, i.e., to the Four Noble Truths. Ask yourself, where in the Four Noble Truths does this particular mind state belong? And then you know what to do with it. They tell the story of Jokun Noh, who was a famous monk in Bangkok back in the early part of the century, 20th century. One night he was doing walking meditation outside of his hut, and this young monk came running up and said, I can't help myself. I've been thinking about this thing that's got me all worried all day long. Jokun Noh looked at him for a second and said, Well, you're just doing the wrong duty there, and turned around and went into his hut. Unfortunately, the monk had been studying enough dharma, so he realized that the duty with regard to that kind of thinking is not to encourage it or develop it. It's to try to understand why there's suffering around it and then see that you really don't want to think there. Comprehend the suffering, that makes it a lot easier to abandon the cause. So that's the court of appeal. Anything comes up in the mind, that's what you take it to. And you find that it gives really wise governance inside. So when we think of the king, think both of the good that he's done, and also think of him as an example of what you can do in your mind. Put the right person in charge, put the right values in charge, and you can change everything. <laughs>